Many of you got to watch Chessie Champs this year, one of the most premier events in first. And while this event is definitely exciting, something else was going on behind the scenes or rather inside the robots that you really need to pay attention to. New FRC radios were being tested for the first time at an event at the 6 GHz bandwidth, allowing for some pretty awesome new features and hopefully better reliability and faster reboot times to get robots on the field. I interviewed Kit Chow from Vivid Hosting, Qualcomm, and mentor of Hall of Fame Team 1538, The Holy Cows, who is leading the charge working with FIRST to look at replacing the open mesh radios that we've had for so long. Let's learn more about this on FRC Updates now. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. Discover how you can graduate debt-free at Kettering University with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more, schedule a visit, or apply. Fun is continuing to grow and looking for new ad partners for the 2024 season. If your organization has a positive message to spread to our over 250,000 unique viewers, go to firstupdatesnow.com slash contact to get more information. So my name is Kit Chow. I'm a, the owner of Vivid Hosting. I'm also a senior staff engineer at Qualcomm. Um, I'm also the one that uh, worked on the 2025 uh, slated 2025 uh, FRC radio. And uh, basically it's a radio that we've designed that uh, is using um, a Qualcomm chipset uh, in a specially designed form factor and board that kind of drives with FRC's needs. So uh, this is supposed to be a drop-in replacement for the open mesh uh, radios that we've been using in the past. A um, Couple things about it, like what I was saying, it had uh, it's designed to use six gigahertz uh, right off the bat with the new spectrum that FCC had just opened up and uh, in the international regions has just opened up as well. Um, but the really cool parts about this is we've added in uh, passive PoE ports and um, an integrated ethernet switch so that teams don't have to go build and cobble together their own solutions to kind of get the same effect. Um, in the past, teams would have to go purchase, um, you know, ruggedized Ethernet switches and try to figure out a good way of powering the radios. And uh, speaking of power, we've also designed the radios so that the radios can be powered directly off of uh, a battery source. It doesn't need to be connected to a, any other regulated uh, source. So it, this should remove the number of failure points that teams have had in the past. Testing so far has been going pretty well. Uh, we had seen a few quirks here and there, uh, like some like infant, like infant mortality stuff on the radios that was definitely our fault, but we quickly you know, gave teams new radios. This was like, we had two or three radios have this issue. But um, overall, we're seeing teams push a significant amount more uh, bandwidth while having, uh, we had issues in the past with the open mesh radios where if uh, one radio had a poor RF link, um, basically it would bring the modulation rates down for the entire field. Um, in a few matches here, we've seen teams with poor modulation rates. Meanwhile, all the other teams are pushing tremendous amounts of bandwidth. So um, we've also had uh, some occurrences where uh, a robot would drop from the field and in the past, dropping uh, a robot uh, mid-match would typically affect the entire field. We haven't seen that issue uh, using the, the new radios. In the past with the open mesh radios, what we've typically seen is it typically takes about like 45, 50 seconds to never, um, depending on on radio conditions and just the general environment. But uh, here at Chesa Champs, when, uh, as we're running it, we're typically seeing a typical connection time about 60 seconds. What are uh, some other events that you plan on having these radios tested at? Yeah, uh, there, there's a, uh, there are two PNW events uh, next weekend. Uh, there's a event in New Hampshire, and then shortly after that, there's a uh, Madtown Throwdown back here in Madeira. Are we going to see any changes in regards to like restrictions on uh, Wi-Fi usage in arenas or anything like that with this radio? Yeah, so uh, this was a, a cool thing that we introduced for this event. Um, there is a 2.4 gigahertz radio on board this device, and uh, what it was configured to do, uh, all the teams would have a pre-printed uh, sticker uh, that would be placed on the on the device that would basically have their 2.4 gigahertz uh, WPA key. As soon as they would 
you know, drive on the field, if they were to connect to the field uh, access point, it would go ahead and drop the 2.4 radio on the device. So we were allowing teams to basically run the robots around here without a tether while they're in the pits and practice field. Thanks, Kit, for giving us that fantastic information. If your team was at Chessy Champs or plans on attending any of the future events that these new radios are going to be at, let us know in the comments what your team's reaction or response was to having these radios on your robot. And FRC community, let us know if you're excited for these new radios or what questions you might have as well with these new radios coming up. Don't forget to make sure you like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on all fun content coming up. We'll see you next time on Fun. Talk to you then. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. Discover how you can graduate debt-free at Kettering University with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more, schedule a visit, or apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check out our social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.